Example 2. Determine the accumulated value after 25 years of monthly deposits of $300 into a fund that earns 8% compounded monthly. How much interest is earned over this time period? Let's start with a quick little summary of what we know. Initially, we can easily determine that we have monthly deposits or monthly payments of $300 per month and that the interest rate is 8% compounded monthly, well that automatically tells us that the rate per month is going to be 0.08 divided by 12. So 8% divided by 12 gives us an interest rate that is a, a little bit less than 1% per month. It's two thirds of a percent per month or 0 0.00666 repeating per month. If you end up with a repeating decimal, make sure that you use the memory function on your calculator. So store this in memory 1, 0.08 divided by 12. Store all of it in 1. Don't round that off to 0 0.006667. You're going to end up with a lot of error, uh, particularly when you involve annuities. The time period or the term of this annuity is 25 years and the deposits are monthly. So if we're looking at a 25 year period with monthly deposits, you're going to be looking at one, two, three, let's see, 12 deposits per year for 25 years. There's going to be a total of 300 monthly deposits of $300. So our deposits for our annuity or our payment is $300 per month. So here's our annuity coming up here on the time diagram, $300 per month. I'm going to draw an annuity bus around that. And the first payment is at the end of the first month and the last payment is at the end of the 25th year or at the end of the 300th month. And, and here's our time diagram. Now we're asked to determine the maturity value or the accumulated value after the 25th year. So in other words, we want to know what the final value is of this annuity. The final value is going to be determined by computing the final value of 300 deposits of $300 with the accumulated interest. And so that final value can be determined by multiplying the payment size by the compound annuity factor. So that factor is going to be 1 plus the interest rate, 1.0066 repeating, raised to the exponent 300 because there's 300 monthly deposits of $300. And we subtract 1 and divide by the interest rate, 0 0.00666 repeating. So again, use the memory, recall contents of memory to do the calculation multiply by the uh, payment size $300 and you'll end up with a future value of $285,307.92. And that's the maturity value of these monthly deposits over the 25 year time period. Now, how do we calculate the amount of interest that is earned over this time period? Well, all we have to do now is simply take the difference between what went into the account and what came out of the account at the end. So what were the total value of the deposits without interest? Well, our total deposits were 300 deposits multiplied by $300. And so that adds up to a total of $90,000. $90,000 went in to the account without interest. The final value includes all of the deposits with interest. And so therefore the interest amount is equal to the difference between the two or $195,307.92. It's the $285,000 less the $90,000.